Okay. We are making, or I just made a couple of brass gear, and we're making that for the cutter, cutting machine. Um, so we need the diamond saw blade, right? And we put our brass gear in, and bing, bang, boom. Then now, all we need for the cutting machine is basically everything else. <laughs> uh, well, it's it's not too bad. It's just a bunch of circuits and uh, motors and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. We're, in, we're almost to Envy. Almost there. Like, this is the last thing I'm going to make. Okay, so I, I figured out a way to <laughs> make things easier. I didn't have any iron left. I'm going to be honest. I have no iron left. So what I did is I looked at the coin shop, and now that I have LV completed, or completed, quote unquote, I can make, I just bought iron rods for these technician tens, or technician eight of these, and then five of these. So, I mean, pretty cheap. And then rubber, can I, so I can just make the alloys out of them. And yeah, I mean, I have like 64, like I haven't used any of these technician tens. And then I have plenty of these, normal technicians and for technicians ones the i'd say it's worth it i mean you might just buy these circuit boards too when i run out i have like four left but yeah um i think that's that's no brainer i'm not gonna buy the rubber sheet oh i could have just bought the rubber sheets it's literally the same price you know what i'm gonna do it i'm gonna buy it <laughs> and why do i need these rubber sheets you might ask um uh, well i don't even there we go like, yeah, maybe this isn't the best decision, but um, because, you know, maybe this could become more handy later on. Just buy the rubber rings as well. Um, but I, I don't need that right now. Anyway, so I, it could be more useful later on with, while I'm holding my hot, ch not hot chocolate, milk chocolate, chocolate milkshake. Sorry, I'm holding this in my hand. But um, yeah, it could be useful later on. But I am not doing the math. I'm just I'm just cooking. In fact, there we go. We have plenty of that. And yeah, why do why do we need this, you might ask? It was very ominous. Um <laughs> it is for making a lot of these motors, honestly. One, two, three. Okay. We need more copper key wires. Those are easy to make. We got tons of copper. We just plop them in our our newfangled uh wire mill. I, I say newfangled, but I've had this for like a week. <laughs> And just like that, we made a machine in record time, or an LV machine. Oh, I haven't made it yet, honestly. I, I thought I made it. I was like, oh man, we made it, but we didn't make it. <laughs> we need, I need to like continue cooking. I've stopped making steel in my little blast furnace up here, um, mainly because I don't have any iron and I'm just too lazy to go out and mine iron normally. And maybe that's a good thing because uh, Maybe uh, I'll find a better way to mine it soon. Like, um, actually, I, I probably can do that in LV. Because there is the auto mining here, which, you know, I haven't even made the sensor. <laughs> Maybe I should make a sensor first. But um, anyway, so, yeah, what, what was I doing? <laughs> right, we were making the last little machine. And I say last one. I'm probably going to make <laughs> a lot more later on. But um, last one for a while. I mean, I don't, I'm not making the fluid pipeline yet. Oh, it could. Can I... I guess long distance oil. Since our oil pipeline, since oil is our main source of power and we don't have any oil left actually. That could be something we want to think about later on. But that's a later me <laughs> I just want to make some cool MV machines on it. Doesn't anyone, everyone want to make cool MV machines? I guess not everyone. I guess if you're in HV, you don't really want to make MV machines, right? If that makes sense. It makes sense to me. <laughs> I honestly should be mass producing these things. Like crafting one by one is like a no-go for this mod pack. I think I've learned that by now, but I, I'm not actually doing it because like I don't know how many of these slicing dicing machines are I'm gonna be needing. Anyways, we made we got gold tanks and pumps. So Bad. That is not bad. Well, actually, no, we didn't get that. False alarm. That was for the other quest. We got a lever calf. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Let's make. Let's just make a LMV machine. What's the worst that could happen, right? And honestly, it should be the big one, right? The electrolyzer. 
Because we have so many dusts. Um, yeah, let's just electrolyze all our dusts. Like, look, look, at, look at this. Like, look how many chests of dust I have. This entire gold chest, this black chest, this is, I guess, kind of dust. It's crushed ore. This is ore. This is ore. Or this is dust. This is ore. But yeah, it's a lot. So I think that is why I want to prioritize the um, electrolyzer first. The another option is to go for an alloy furnace. Alloy furnace. I don't really use that much because I still I'm still using the steam one um, because I really don't even use alloys that much. Like if I want to make alloys, I, I, I first would mix them, right? Because mix them and mixing things is just more efficient in terms of like um, making things like that. Okay. But yeah, I'm just gonna make this. Um, I think I already have the machine hole. We just need to make two more circuits because I use two of the circuits to make the circuit machine. That's not the name of the machine. It's called the circuit assembler. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So I'm gonna make two of those two more good MV circuits, and then we'll make that machine. So I think I think I'm gonna update this now, actually, because I I think we're safe. Where I just heard like an Enderman teleport behind me, and say like nothing personnel. <laughs> okay. Let me plop this down. Boom, check this off. How do I delete these? I really don't know how to delete this. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, you can just... I mean, there's probably a better way to do this, but just... How do... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Nice. Okay, so now... Electrolyze... Make... MV Electrolyzer. That's the only thing I know right now. Electrolyzer. And then what else do we want to do? Let's see. Let's look at the quests. Centrifuge could be better. Twice as fast as LV1, but use four times the power. I don't know if we have enough power. Macerator. Um, don't know if we have any of the power. Compressor. We need to make a compressor. Now that I think about it. Like, if we think back to our compressor, our compressor is this one right here. Okay, we'll make a compressor. That's, that's, that's a done deal. MB compressor. I guess I don't need to do these in um, this order. But, um, so, Ember Compressor, Item Transfer, could be useful, I don't know. Church of Benzene. Um, I don't know about this. Uh, since we're already using light fuel, we probably don't need to do that right immediately. I, I looked into this biofuels and it gave me a headache, so I don't want to. <laughs> Fluid Extractor. Um, yeah, I probably want to do something like this, but I don't know. I don't know about immediately. Chemical lesson part two, chemical reactor. Yeah, I mean, that's nice. Ethylene. This is what I need. Ethylene right here. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to put that down. So I guess we'll make the centrifuge and macerator. I don't, I will just put them same, same order. Centrifuge and macerator. I will just put centrifuge. Actually, no, macerator first, because that's the first thing. Macerator. And then centrifuge. This is this is so organized. I've never been this organized before. And then we can say ethylene unless something else comes up. And I think that is our the amount of machines I can make in like two years. So <laughs> alright, that is the plan. All right, so I did some cool automation I thought I would show you. So I was tired of having to continuously provide my electric blast furnace over here with oxygen um, to make, you know, there's various like recipes, but I guess primarily Cooper, what is it? Um, copper, I mean, look up copper. <laughs> annealed copper ingot, right? How do you make annealed copper? You need copper dust and oxygen, right? And it's a thousand liters of oxygen each. So that's quite a lot of bit if i quite a quite a lot actually um if you need to i mean i have fifteen thousand now but that's because i just figured out how to automate it right um, my previous attempts were trying to electrolyze water that took a lot of energy um wasn't very efficient um so i guess and it used build up a lot of hydrogen i guess i can i can always empty the hydrogen <clears throat> i need that for uh, a distillery for hydrogen purposes but i uh did a much more complicated way of doing that, <coughs> of making oxygen, and it's with starts with a decompressor, or a compressor, not a decompressor. 
Sorry if you can hear my cat meowing in the background. <laughs> it's that time of the day. Um, it's always that time of the day, isn't it? Anyways, so <laughs> she, she just wants to play. Um, and I just played with her. Um, anyways, compressor. Um, so what will happen is we put these empty cells in here. they will create compressed air cells. Those Once you get five compressed air cells, they will compress into, let me show you the recipe. The... Um, this is the centrifuge. And suddenly it's <laughs> Anyway, so five, five compressed air cells will create an oxygen cell and an empty cell. So I have hooked it up to automatically output the um, empty cells into these locked barrels, right? So this one's for oxygen. This one is for just normal cells. And it is slightly broken right now. Because there's these empty cells aren't actually doing anything, even though let me see here. This is we want to import here as well as export here. I believe this should work. Export here. Um. Oh yeah, that kind of worked. There we go. So yeah, what the way it works is kind of these. I mean, hopefully that worked. I might. I have just been um a fluke. But anyways. We're basically importing the oxygen, oxygen tank, whatever they are, oxygen, the oxygen, and then um, goes into this these tiny pipes, which go all the way over here into my EVF, right? And then, oh well, this is this is part of the reason we're already full, <laughs> so I mean I, I can't really fill up anymore. So that makes one hundred percent sense. So I mean, if I want to improve this more, what I could do is get an actual tank um and then i could fill the tank up uh i guess this could work as a tank once uh once i <laughs> deplete it of its hydrogen but yeah that's kind of the the gist of it and then this is set to import allow output so we want to import it and then we also want to import it into these pipes but we also want to output it into this ebf as well and then it'll import it back to either this oxygen cell in which case it will well i guess we, there won't be any oxygen cells coming from over there oh my god i just fell <laughs> that's a little bit okay I'm, I'm demonstrating stuff okay so or it'll go either into the the empty empty cells will either go into the compressor or this barrel in which case the barrel will output it into this compressor at the end of the day with this one right here so that's kind of like an automated way to make Whatever, whatever, make an oxygen. <laughs> but I guess the, the cool part is that I'm also getting some nitrogen gas out of the deal. I'm already full on nitrogen gas, as you can probably tell. I have a whole tank full of it. I don't, I don't have a use for it yet, but I'm sure I can probably use that for some stuff. Maybe power or something down the line. But the nitrogen gas also automatically fills us up. Well, not anymore. It's full. But yeah, I, um, yeah. so this is, this is a cool design. I hope you liked it. <laughs> okay. So we made the first MV machine. The electric. We're officially in the MV age now. Let me, let me go to the chart. Oh, you can just click it from here. I'll, okay, I didn't even know that, or maybe I did. But anyways, I don't even. Well, it's my first check on this one. So on this MV page, although the MV page is probably going to be a lot. Can I title it? Oh, I can't title it from here. That would be too easy or too good. Anyways, let's see what we get in our MV thing. We need to find a biome with hardened clay. So we can get all the sodium lithium, blah, 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 blah. So tons of stained or hardened clay. Okay, yeah. So that's really all we need to find. A muffler up. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. You know, maybe I should turn. Oh, let me turn the sounds on. Okay. There we go. Are any of my machines even working? I don't know if they are. Because uh, my focus has been on the this machine, but this machine is not working. Let me just put it. Oh, I guess it, it works. Did it? Don't even know. Oh, crap. how do I get it out? What the? Okay, well, this machine's muffled now. <laughs> uh, okay, so I guess my next step is to add wires to use this. I really need to re rework all my wiry stuff here. I guess these are redstone alloy and this is 10. But 10, like, loses power. So I just need to put, like, a whole new set of things for redstone alloy and just make it for MV machines. I guess ideally over here, but you know, it could be anywhere. So yeah, that's what I gotta do. 
We did it! We finally got the advanced electrolyzer to work. Oh my god, I feel like I've been... Oh, well, it worked for a second, I swear. <laughs> um, but we have a low, van low voltage transformer. I was just like, so excited for work for a second, but uh, it's just not very efficient because the wires are so far away. But anyways, uh, I guess it's kind of working to make lithium, right? Which is important for MV stuff, I guess, probably. I say probably because it, it is. Um, anyways, it's 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 kind of working. Uh, it's very not inefficient. But anyways, what I'm doing here is I'm taking a bunch of these Cooper nickel cables. Why am I using Cooper cable? Cooper nickel. <laughs> um, because yeah, actually, why am I using Cooper nickel? It's very inefficient, actually. I, I'm looking back now here, and it is six EU per loss of six EU per volt. And I was originally trying to use it because it is 2x, so it can have four amps going through it, because these have four amps, because there's four batteries here, and then two um, generators here. And I'm using Cooper Nickel here as well, but honestly, I can probably just use Redstone Alloy now that I think about it, the 2x one, because if we look at Redstone Alloy, here, it can have max amps of two, which is all we need from, I guess, both sides of these. And it's also much more efficient is here, yeah, zero EU perform. That's perfect. I should, yeah, I should just make a bunch of these uh, redstone alloy 2x cables so that I can feed them to my transformer so that I don't have to wait. Like, it's like, um, basically, it's not getting enough voltage. Oh, hey, we made, we made a thing. <laughs> Wasn't even planning to get this, uh, while I was recording this piece, anyways. But cool, we got so, so that's why we needed this. We needed silicon dioxide. Um, Okay, I, I don't know why we need it. Okay, let, let's let's do a, a quick read through. Uh, we can sit around grass, uh, centrifuge grass, gas, glass, something like that. Uh, it's a raw silk and dust vehicle. Come across this using seven, aluminum or magnesium. Okay. Uh, so we can get raw silk and ingots. Um, okay, so we can macerate it back into raw silk and dust. Okay, cool. That seems useful. I will keep that in mind. And then I'll upgrade this. So the transformer. I guess notably, I'm, I'm stepping up from here. I'm just using it. I'm not going to hammer it now, because if I hammer it now, it will explode. Not that I've done that before, but that's what I read. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am also going to focus on doing this biofuel thing to get out of this steam engine business, because this is a headache. Actually, you can see here, it's we're out of steam. <laughs> uh, well, no, we're yeah, we are out of steam. We're not out of power. We're out of steam. So I think I also want to move all this to another room because I'm just getting a headache just looking at the I don't want the MV stuff to be in the same room as the LV stuff because if one thing explodes and then everything explodes not that anything should explode if I do it right but no one who does it right in the first time? <laughs> you know maybe if I run the directions you know what to say cut measure nuts cut twice <laughs> uh, okay so yeah I'm gonna make the blah 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 the good wires that's it yeah and biofuel. All right, so I found a cool way to get, I guess I found a way, right away on the, the quest guide, silicon dust um, by using magnesium and silicon dioxide dust. And I guess magnesium, how did I get this? Good question, I don't remember. <laughs> um, I, oh yeah, I think it was magnesi magnesite. I think I just found a bunch of that. Somewhere. Anyway, so I combined that with the silicon dioxide, which I got from electrolyzing clay. And there we go, we got magnesia, milk of magnesia. <laughs> Anyways, we have the raw silicon now. So we can get, obviously we're gonna choose a loop bag because we just got to MV, right? We don't know anything about these loop bags. I don't, I don't look at what these loop bags give me because I don't know what they're gonna give me. Let me eat this chum burger real quick. Oh, it's gross. It's hunger five. That was not worth it. We got ladders and apple pies. Perfect. I haven't eaten these either. Maybe these will help my little disorder here. Um, anything else cool? No, we got sodium, but yeah. Okay, that's fine. So now, what can we do? We can go make trichlorosilene or silicon tetrachloride. I don't know what either of these do. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll read up on it. 